This video is an introduction to the River Bathymetry Toolkit cross-section layout tool. The goal of this tool is to lay out cross-sections down a length of center line. There'll be three dimensional cross-sections that cut across the channel perpendicular to that center line and uh, once we've laid them out we can then use the RBT to explore them. So I've loaded ArcMap here and in ArcMap I've got my raw DEM you could just as easily cut these cross sections into a detrended DEM, but I'm using the raw DEM. I've also loaded uh, a Banks polygon that I generated using the RBT Bankful tool. Uh, this can be at any arbitrary stage. Uh, this one is at uh, what is I deem to be about uh, Bankful elevation and a center line. And again, this can be any longitudinal line down your channel. Um, you need to be careful with this the cross sections we're going to lay out are going to be perpendicular to this line so for most folks that's uh, appropriate to be a center line but you could just as easily do this to a thalweg as well so the cross section layout tool is found on the cross section menu it's the first option cross section layout and unlike most RBT tools once you click it a window does not pop up but the cursor does change to a crosshairs and what you need to do is move on to your map and then click a section on the channel and within about five to ten meters of the center line. So I'm going to click uh, down here, and it's after that that the cross section layout form appears. And on this form, I'm going to specify the input inputs for my cross sections. The first thing is I need to choose my longitudinal line. As I mentioned before, this I'm choosing a center line. You could use a hand drawn line or a thalweg, and then your digital elevation model. I'm using uh, the raw DEM for Bear Valley Creek. You need a Banks uh, polygon to constrain the cross sections. Again, this can be any arbitrary polygon, but uh, I'm using one generated by the RBT that I think is roughly about bankful. The extension is the distance beyond that polygon that the cross sections are going to get laid out. So if you specify a distance of zero, the cross sections will extend just to your polygon boundary. I'm using five meters here, so they'll extend five meters beyond that uh, Banks polygon. The station separation is the horizontal distance along the cross section that elevations will be recorded at. So uh, here on my cross sections I'm going to have a vertical measurement every 1.5 meters along the cross section. The interpolation is as we're extracting elevations for the cross sections from the DEM whether we want to just get raw pixel values for the elevations or whether we want to interpolate between the pixels. You'll get smoother cross sections if you choose bilinear and you'll get rather more stepped staggered cross section elevations if you uh, disable that option. You can choose just to lay out one cross section or you can lay out multiple. I'm going to lay out multiple here and once I enable that option I get to choose the separation down the channel of between my cross sections. So in this case I'm going to lay out a cross section every two meters from the point where I clicked on the map. I get to choose whether I lay them out upstream or downstream. In this case I'm going downstream and then you get to say what you want to limit the layout by. You can either lay out by the number of cross sections or in terms of distance. So if you only want to lay out 200 meters worth of cross sections just choose distance here and specify 200. I'm actually going to limit out by the number of cross sections and I'm going to lay out uh, roughly about a thousand cross sections which is one of the advantages of this tool if you wanted to go into the field and actually lay out a thousand cross sections that would take you a considerable amount of time but with this tool uh, you can actually automate uh, the layout of those really quickly. You just need to specify an output um, an output uh, feature class where the cross sections are going to go. I'm using a shapefile. You can use a file geodatabase feature class as well. And then you click OK. So the tool is finished and as you can see it's uh, the form has gone away and returned to the map and I've got 1000 cross sections laid out at 2 meters across my channel. A few things to note about these. They are as I suggested earlier perpendicular to the center line and we don't do any adjustment of the cross section so when you do have kinks in your center line you are going to get overlapping cross sections because they're just simple perpendicular uh, lines. Notice also that the extension here that I specified beyond the polygon and uh, I can just show you here the um, what these cross sections actually look like using the RBT cross section explorer 
I'll just pick the first one and there's actually the profile of the cross-section. I'll explain this tool in, in more detail in another video. That's the uh, cross-section layout.